So we are here at ILC Dover. Uh, check out our longer stream, of course, when we were actually in the suits earlier, seeing them move. Uh, but we're talking about the fabrics here today, all of these different layers of how it all comes together and, of course, supports all of that pressure in, from the inside. Um, so I'm here with... Connor. Connor. Yeah, Connor Chappell. I work on the, the ESOC program or the EMU for ISS. Um, there's that space suit. But here we have the, the advanced suits. But they generally, they, they kind of lay up the same. Um, but yes, we're just kind of talking about generally, like from what you're wearing right now to the outside layers on a spacesuit. Um, so I'll start from the bottom on this one. Um, it's very similar to what, you're, what you see right there, the LCVG or the liquid cooling and ventilation garment. Um, you generate a lot of heat when you're in the spacesuit, so the human has to be cooled off. So that's what provides all these little tubes have cold water running through them. Um, and then going into the suit itself, right, it's, it has to hold air, it's a pressure vessel. Um, so this yellow layer is really your, your pressure retaining layer. Um, you kind of said it, it feels rubbery. It's a, it's a urethane kind of coated fabric. Um, and that's what really holds all the air in. Um, so you can call this like kind of the balloon, if you will. Um, then you have this outside layer on top of that. So that's the restraint layer or what keeps that balloon from continuing to balloon out, right? So you want to maintain these certain shapes, certain flex joints and, and rot rotary joints, um, that restraint layer. So this is a really high strength. So this is the structure. Um, this, what can hold the structural load um, of, of the suits themselves. So it holds about 350 pounds per... Well, this one, this is a little bit older one, but yeah, that was rated for like 350 pounds per square inch mm -hmm. of tensile load, right? So Very these strong. are quite strong. This, that suit doesn't probably get any pressures that, that high, but you have to maintain those factors of safety uh, that NASA likes to have. Um, and then everything else in my hand right here is what you see on the kind of the cover layer, what we call the TMG, um, the thermal micrometeorite garment. Um, and so, again, you need to... Um, protect yourself from different objects in, in space, whether it's solar radiation um, or meteorites, for example. Um, so you'll see there's, a, there's an inner layer. It's kind of a, um, it's a neoprene coated uh, fabric just to make it soft um, and re abrasion resistant. Um, all you have a bunch, of, a bunch of layers. I think it's like seven layers of aluminized mylar. Um, so every time you see a satellite or the lunar landers from Apollo, they have all that gold and silver foil. Same deal, right? It's that insulation layer or even on the um, James Webb. Um, all those layers as well. So to kind of keep you that all the heat out um, or to keep the cold in or whatever it is, um, you have all those um, layers right there. And then last, um, you have this, um, we call the ortho fabric. Yeah, so you see all these, those reinforcement um, ripstop kind of grids and that's the, that's the Kevlar uh, reinforcement on there. So every spacesuit that you see going forward from Apollo uh, or from EMU going forward, even the next generation suits, whether it's this one or, or others, will have this kind of same outside white fabric and right